Whenever you defeat a mini-boss, they drop a special item. Took me a while to figure out that you can fuse it with your weapons to make them very powerful. The easiest way to heal yourself is by eating overheal food. It will restore all your hearts and give you some extra ones as well. It can be cooked by hearty stuff like truffle mushrooms, hearty fish or even insects to brew a potion. You can find a lot of truffles in caves. Did you know you can transform blue juju jelly into any kind you want? Just drop some and then apply the element you want them to turn into. When you encounter a shrine puzzle that contains an activation platform like this, just shoot a bomb arrow at it. It's also a puzzle in no time. We all miss Revali's ability from Breath of the Wild. However, you can easily mimic it in Tears of the Kingdom. Take out a rocket and fuse it with your shield. If you then hold the set L button, it will boost you upwards just like Revali. When you encounter wildlife, you can actually ride some of it. Here's Link riding on a beer. There's a larger amount of recipes. Some of them are shown in stables. Go inside and you will see posters with recipes. If you're running low on arrows, collect a wooden shield and look for enemies with a bow. The wood shield will get the arrows stuck. Once you stash your shield, the arrows will be added to your inventory. The easiest way to kill a Talos is to run under it and then ascend through it. Now you can easily hit its weak point. If you save an NPC from a fight, talk to them afterwards. They will reward you. Did you notice that all the underground light routes are at the same locations where the shrines are? They even have the same name, just backwards. Also note that the whole topography is mirrored. When there's a hill in the overworld, there's a valley in the underground. And when there's water, it's completely inaccessible. A faster way of transportation is shield surfing. Take out your shield, jump and then press the A button in the air. It's especially fun and fast if you fuse a card for hard surfaces or a sled for snow and sand. Once you get to a cold or hot area, you need heat or freeze resistance. Another way to cool or warm Link up is by using an elemental weapon or shield. Fire weapons will warm you like a level 1 freeze resistance. Same goes for cold weapons. The effect only works once, so you can't combine weapon and shield for level 2 resistance. There's some kind of cryo ability in the game. If you're close to water, you can throw an ice fruit to make an ice platform. Same goes for lava with a splash fruit. You should look under every stone you see. There are insects and sometimes even Koroks under there. You can skip the long animation of pulling out and then swinging a heavier weapon if you start to run and then press the attack button. Fire or ice enemies are one hit if you use the opposing element. If you use an arrow or a weapon or just throw it at them. As long as they come in contact with the element, they will die instantly. If you increase your horse sympathy, they will follow paths automatically. The easiest way is to feed them some apples. If you accidentally sold a special armor that can only be found and not bought somewhere, you can purchase it again in Hatino's armor shop. Sometimes items will drop in an unfortunate way and fall into water for example. In that case, just use your rewind ability to take them out again. Then use the master hand to move them into a safe spot. Do you know any more useful tips? Let me know in the comments or join my Discord. Link is in the description. Leave a sub to stay tuned for more and I'll see you next time.